A blessed morning, one and all. This is your apostle, Elijah Peter Chambers. Once more, with a pounding word. Hallelujah! A harsh one, and also an intriguing one. And our topic today is put behind bars for speaking, thus say the Lord. And this is our 86th series, and our theme, porn! Hallelujah! To win! I want to let the false virgin Daniel, the blogger on YouTube, understand. You're talking about character. You don't have character. Two years ago when I came out, you were the one who were opposing me and said that God did not speak to me. Now you sound like a hypocrite talking about corruption. It is the very thing that I was talking about. And you said that I was false and God did not talk to me. Hallelujah. And now you're advocating against my card corruption. You're a fool. God does not know you. If you knew God, you wouldn't be blogging at me. You better zip him out and put yourself under subjection because you may be the other, hallelujah, that will experience judgment. We'll see who lives the longest. You notice I've been preaching for three years now and you say that I'm false, Mr. False, plugger, Daniel. You know yourself, hallelujah. The scripture says that a trip, the scripture text came from Hebrews 9, 27. It is appointed unto men once to die. And after that judgment, death is appointed to every man. And you are no exception. Exception. You only die once. And death is not the end. That is what some of you need to understand. And that some of you are talking about that everybody have to die. Hallelujah. Death is not the end. And just as it is appointed for men to die once, and after that comes judgment, we die only once and then we are judged everyone must die once and after that the judgment in jamaica it has become the statement everybody have to die hallelujah those who die in sin dog eat your supper the lord reveals to me that most of the jamaicans are sick in their bodies who are you going to trust mr tough time and mr andrew my God Almighty. Hallelujah. Or, our God, you are tricked and deceived. You don't want to come to the truth, but you shall, and the truth shall slap you right in your face. You shall hear the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Everyone crying out hypocritically. What is it that is causing? the teachers to show up that they were healthy, healthy and strong and then they drop down and die. Many are speculating and asking is this the vaccine or stress? That's not the symptoms of stress. You took the evil in your body and it is shutting you down. You were all warned and many of you declared that I'm stupid and naive. Before judgment, he sends a warning. I blow the trumpet all over social media. And none of you listen, whether politically or religiously. Many of you sacrifice your life for a so-called job. And today, most of you can't walk. You can't work. Some don't have a job. The evil in your body causing death and sickness all of your false christians who says the lord told you to take it the lord says he did not speak to you it is the devil who spoke in disguise of the voice of the lord when it is when it was a devil why are you today why are you sick today and why are you running from doctor to doctors if the so-called vaccine could help you, you were deceived even by the so-called prophets, prophetesses and apostles. Now you are wor worrying when all of us could just put our trust in God, but preferred to please.
these politicians and false prophets, false apostles. The majority took it and it looks right, but now many are worried unto death. Hallelujah. The devil presented himself as a light and his, dark, and, and his darkness. He took the remnant, hallelujah, to desert good from evil. In the pigeon last night, in a pigeon last night, the Lord showed me most of the politicians, doctors, teachers, policemen, women and citizens of Jamaica. They are sick in their bodies presently. After taking the evil in their bodies, many aren't doing well in their bodies. Many live at the doctor on a daily basis. Even many in the churches experiencing death. I saw funerals, death people falling out they didn't trust in god they put their trust in the evil politicians and the false pastors false prophet false prophetess and false apostles using scriptures to justify their lack of faith and justify themselves many say that god helped those that tell themselves this statement is not scriptural or biblical. The Bible declares, put your trust in God and not in man. Anyone remember the statement the leader made that God gave doctors or scientists wisdom to make the evil and everyone is dying out and everyone is silent about what is happening. The Bible declares, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Hallelujah. You notice the PM is silent about the death of our teachers. Eight teachers died and it was on the news this week that three more teachers died. Individuals are saying all over Jamaica, they regret taking the evil in their bodies. Since their health has not been the same. Remember last year, the government sector workers, most of them were forced to take the evil in their body to save their jobs. Some are sick today. Some can't go back to their jobs. After taking the evil in their bodies, some died after they took it. Some are paralyzed. Some even are impotent. Hallelujah. Let me ask every one of you the re to reason this. If Facebook, Inst YouTube, Instagram, and etc. blocked all my videos that spoke about the evil, it speaks volumes. Hallelujah. Keep living in the lies of the politician. politicians. Because when the truth comes, many of you will be in your grave. I believe some of you us forget how oh God, how oh, some of you chanted on social media. Lock him up and put him in prison and throw the key. Hallelujah. The Lord spoke to me, all of you who are a part of the evil ones, the evil. One by one, God will take good care of you. Your judgment is knocking at your door. The Lord spoke to me that there are three persons in the Brownstone region, St. Anne. Hallelujah. Who were part of my death, March 24, 21, 5 a.m. One of these persons are connected to scammers in the region. And the order, my orders were given by the individual for the death of Peter Chambers. Money was also paid to scammers to eliminate me. Hallelujah. In Brownstone, St. Anne region, God dismantled their evil plot. The Lord said to me, Hallelujah, you all will experience serious punishment. And it is death. If you don't repent and confess your evil and turn from your sins, hear ye the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Two more will die in the cabinet. I, the Lord God, has placed the spirit of death over the cabinet because you have killed my prophet, says God. The debt you desire for my servants would be the very debt that will come to you. And none of your precious ones will experience debt and the nation will cry bitterly. 
Hallelujah. Repent and turn from your wicked ways. For my judgment is at your door. To the PM of Jamaica, you will, hallelujah, be constantly crying without rest. You have destroyed the body of Christ. Just as Saul who killed the Christians. Why have you kicked against the prick? My judgment is knocking at your door. Prepare for two more funerals. They will experience pain until they are bowed in humility and surrender from their evil, says God. The dead angel is hanging over your cabinet and your generation. You will experience death in your immediate family. An angel will visit you and disclose the evil that you have brought upon Jamaica. Hallelujah. When you have confessed to the nation the evil that you have brought upon the land because of the gullible, your gullible behavior, behavior, the Lord showed me in a vision the PM's wife is sick unto death. Doctors cannot find out what is wrong with her. She is losing her weight as a facade hiding her sickness the lord showed me she will be hospitalized and many will be begging 